Let's test our understanding. A firm has decided to acquire a new machine to neutralize the toxic waste produced by its refining plant. The machine will cost $10 million and will have an economic life of five years. Writing down allowances of 25% per annum on a reducing balance basis are available for the investment. Taxation of 30% is payable on operating cash flows one year in arrears. The firm intends to finance the new plant by means of a five-year fixed interest loan at a pre-tax cost of 10% per annum. Principal repayable in five years' time. Alternatively, a leasing company has proposed a finance lease over five years at $2.5 million per annum, payable in advance. Scrap value of the machine under each financing alternative will be zero. Evaluate the two options for acquiring the machine and advise the company on the best alternative. So we'll start with solving the writing down allowances. So we have the year item writing down value and the tax that will be saved. So in year zero, in any investment appraisal period, year zero is now. So they bought the assets at this particular period. There hasn't been a minute afterwards. $10 million. Okay, that was the cost of the asset. Now, there wouldn't be any tax saved here because this is a capital expenditure. It will not go to the PL. At the end of the year, one year after the asset was bought, it qualifies for a capital allowance because the mention is 25%. It will be 10 million times 25%, which will be $2.5 million. Now, this $2.5 million will be recorded in the PL and reduce whatever profit that will be gotten. So, once that is gotten, the tax of 30%, it will reduce the whatever profit that will be gotten. So, the 30% on the 2.5 will be, be $750,000. Now, the writing down allowance will now be 7.5. That is a 10 million less than 2.5. Okay. That will be the, quote unquote, the cost for the beginning of year two. So, at the end of year two, you have, would have earned a capital allowance of 1.88, which is the 25% of the 7.5. 30% on that will give you $560,000, which is the tax savings. So the written down allowance after year two will be a difference. So you come to year three, which is the end. Capital allowance will be 1,410,000, which is the 25%. Tax saving will be $420,000, which is 30% of the 1.410. Writing allowance will now be four million two hundred and ten thousand dollars. Capital allowance for year four will be one million and fifty thousand dollars, which is twenty five percent on the four point two ten. Tax saving will be three hundred and twenty thousand dollars, which is thirty percent on the one million and fifty thousand dollars. The writing down allowance will now be three million one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Now we were told that it had five years to go. It doesn't have any scrap value. So the balance will be $3,160,000. We will now charge all this amount to the PL because we are getting rid of it. So now the tax saving will be $950,000. Now, when we come to the buying scenario, we are extending it to year six. The asset was bought at $10 million in year zero, which is now the present circumstance or present situation it is in brackets because it is an outflow now the next cash flow will be the tax savings taxes are paid in the year subsequent to it so you work from january to december 2023 you will now estimate your tax after the year has ended so any tax you will pay will be after the estimate has been made so it will be in 2024 so the tax saving in year one will actually be paid in year two and because cash flows deals with actual inflows and cash flows, we'll move it into the year that will it will be expected to be paid. That is why we have the seven hundred fifty thousand for year one recorded in year two, the five hundred sixty for year two recorded in year three, four hundred twenty meant for year three recorded in year four, three hundred twenty meant for year four recorded in year five, nine hundred fifty meant for year five recorded in year six. So the total relevant cash flow for Year zero, which is now will be 10 million outflow, zero for year one, 750 for year two, 560 for year three, 
420 for year 4, 320 for year 5, 950 for year 6. The discounting factor is 8%. We will look at how we got that very soon. That's the post tax. Because we are looking at now, 10 million now is worth the same. Discounting factor for 8% in year 1 is 0 0.926. For year 2 is 0 0.857. Year 3 is 0 0.794. Year 4 is 0 0.735. Year 5 is 0 0.681. Year 6 is 0 0.630. So the present value will be 10 million outflow for year 0. 0 for year 1. 640,000 for year 2, 440,000 for year 3, 310,000 for year 4, 220,000 for year 5, 600,000 for year 6. So the net present value, as in when you net all the present values, you are going to get an outflow of $7,790,000. So if you buy the item, the actual amount you will be paying out. When we come to the leasing, the relevant cash flow is the lease payment. So you're going to be paying $2.5 million for five years. But the trick here is that you are paying it in advance. So you will pay before you use it. So for the first year, you pay it now. Then you use it to the end of the year. That's how come it is zero to four. So you pay it now. You pay it the beginning of year one, beginning of year two, beginning of year three beginning of year four making the five payment now if you remember annuity when you are either receiving or paying a fixed amount for a known number of years you just use the annuity discounting factor and you get it instead of listing the 2.5 for all the years and finding its relevant discounting factor from the table and multiplying it annuity will give you a simplified format so because we are Starting from now, we will add 1 to 8% at 4 years. So 8% at 4 years is 3.312. And because it is starting now, the discounting factor for now is 1. So the present value will be $10,780,000 outflow. Now when we pay this, there is also going to be tax savings. And the tax savings, because you are paying 2.5 million uniformly across the years, the tax savings will also be the same. And remember, taxes are paid after the year has ended. So, even though you are paying the rent now, it will get to the end of the period. You estimate your profit. So, you estimate your profit after year one, then you know the tax that you are supposed to pay, and then you pay. So, the taxes are normally paid in arrears. So instead of it being from 1 to 5, it will be from 2 to 6, as I explained earlier. Now we are starting in 2 years time. So what we'll do is that we'll look for the annuity factor of 8% 6 years, which will give us 4.623. Then we less the annuity factor of 8% at 1 year, okay? because we are skipping a year which is 0 0.926. So the discounting factor relevant will be 3.697. So the present value will be 2,770,000, which is an inflow. So the net present value will give us 8,010,000. Comparing the two, it is important for us to buy the machine because it will cost us lesser than leasing it.